Why, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cattails, the Wildwood Story demo, where we have even more good news about how the game is going to go. It has been funded so well, my friends, that we are definitely going to be able to look forward to the game being created and so many new additions being added in that will expand the generations that we are able to enjoy in Cattails. Oh, look at all of these ladybugs. I want to say I'll give them all as gifts to, you know, the people of our, or the cats of our our town but apparently like I offended half the town last time not everybody enjoys a good ladybug it seems but at least I could potentially sell them and maybe buy one of the <gasps> the tiara maybe we could go ahead and buy the tiara that would be really adorable so we'll look into that in just a moment but yes so definitely check out the Kickstarter it is still going on for about not quite a month but almost a month and there are going to be more stretch goals unlocked as time goes on and I'm very excited to see what the dream may be for the future of cattails. But for now, we will continue to poke the demo with Empress Mossfeather, and then she will begin patrolling the territory. We shall march through the world of Wildleaf Kingdom and see what all of the different areas have to offer, and we will also begin collecting rumors of a very interesting tale of a young kitten named Creek who actually was from the the lands of yore the lands that apparently got destroyed by an earthquake and we will be getting ready to restart creek's story in the original cattails oh it's been so long since we have worked with her and i feel so motivated now more than ever to go ahead and to try to bring her to life again so i'm really excited about that you guys but first things first the empress is hungry do we have any food we do not have any food. It appears the Empress really loves collecting ladybugs. <laughs> so we don't have any food. I need to go ahead and get the Empress fed. So let's actually go out of town this way this time. I don't think there's any skills we can upgrade here in the demo, but in the future we will be able to have some skills. And then let's see, can I find... Oh, there's some prey over here. You can see the tiny little circles. Oh, look, 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 look. We got a little sparrow! I feel really terrible for the sparrow. This is why, like, you should spay and neuter your cats and keep your cats indoors, friends. Uh, but because this is, you know, a wonderful pixelated adventure and not an actual sparrow, we'll go ahead and just collect it. There we go. And I wonder what I just gathered there, too. Some licorice that can uh, be chewed on for a quick bite. Oh, that's so cute. So that licorice would actually be good food for us. Noted. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I got the bird! All right, so we actually managed to get quite a bit of prey from over here. Oh! Oh, what's this? <laughs> okay, this thing looks different. What? Spring carving? Who's leaving enchanted carvings, like, all around here? Oh, no. Oh, so we need to challenge it? Oh, I don't know if we're strong enough to, like, win a fight or something like that. I am the steward of a great treasure. I watch over it until the one who can claim it will come at last. Do you wish to challenge me for it? Uh, oh dear. Well, this does seem like something that an empress should go ahead and get herself tangled up in first thing in the morning. It must really suck to be like a royal. Cause could you imagine being the royal in the fantasy story? Like you just attract trouble like lightning. Everybody in stories always talks about how they would want to hang out with royalty or be friends with the princess or fall in love with the prince. But honestly, that comes with, you know, assassination attempts, people turning you into toads, people like making you fall asleep for a hundred years behind a briar of thorns because you like tried to help out with the weaving. I don't know about that, you guys. I feel like if I got plunked down into a fantasy world, I might try to just like find the equivalent of chips and settle down with a nice bookstore owner or something like that. You can leave all of the, the chaotic energy that I feel like royals are cursed with to themselves. Oh dear, and now that we are working with Empress Mossfeather and talking about royalty, it does make me want to work on our Sims Medieval series again. Oh my gosh, I wish Queen Briar Rose could have Empress Mossfeather as a cat. Oh, I wish I, oh man, if I could ever put out like the call for fan art, that would be like one of the things for sure. 
<clears throat> anyway, that little segue aside, it does seem like we are going to have to rise to the occasion of actually facing down whatever challenge this has. We were able to fight against the dark void creature last time, so let's prepare our claws for battle! We'll challenge him! Then prepare yourself. The challenge is about to commence. Alright, I'm ready for this. What? Wait! <laughs> okay, I'm not ready for this! What is happening? Why do you have a suit on all of a sudden? Wait, I'll ask you questions and you'll answer them. Okay, this is not where I thought the spring carving was going to go. You guys should see my jaw right now. It's basically dropped. I think the Empress Moss Feather is also kind of stunned. Here we are, ready for battle. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a trivia show? Okay, let's roll with it. Correctly answer three questions and I'll give you a reward. But if you miss three questions, you're out. Here we go. Question one. What is the purpose of the cat's whiskers? Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, so they're all like feline themed? Gosh, that would be really awkward if like somebody just walked up to you in real life and they're like, I have a treasure for you. If you can tell me how many vertebrae does a human have? That's kind of the equivalent. Uh, but the purpose of a cat's whiskers are not to attract mice. Definitely not for photosynthesis unless you happen to be, you know, Moss Leaf of our Sims 3 Warrior Cat series. <clears throat> she did have a lot of photosynthesis, but that was that was a unique situation. In reality, cats have whiskers to help them navigate by touch. It is a type of uh, proprioception where they're able to use their whiskers to figure out like where the air currents are to figure out like where they're going to be able to fit into things. It's very complicated and whiskers are extremely sensitive, which is why you should never tug on a cat's whiskers. Uh, so they navigate by touch. That is correct. Question two, true or false? A cat uses their tail to communicate their current mood. True. I, I think almost every animal who has a tail uses it to communicate their mood to some extent, but don't quote me on that. I haven't really spoken with a whale. That is correct. Question three. Tabby cats are mainly known for what type of pattern? <gasps> Stripes! I love tabby kitties! That is correct. Astounding! Superb! Moss feather! You've won! Oh my gosh, I love the floaty rainbow colors. Great work! I'll distribute the prize now. I've been your host. Thanks for playing! <gasps> what on earth was that? And is this our prize? Oh dear, what on earth is that? Okay, that's not so cool. Okay, giant spider demon monster. Maybe we need the Triforce of Cat Paws in order to defeat that thing. You found a power paw. You are filled with vigor by this ancient token. Your run speed has increased. Okay, is that like an ironic statement that we're supposed to like book it and run away from this thing? Oh my gosh! Oh my word! Oh my gosh! No! This thing is as big as I am! This is what I was telling you guys! You shouldn't be friends with royalty! It's gonna- oh my gosh, and there's also like a void monster down there. Oh my word. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no! Oh no, I'm confused! Oh no, I'm dead! Your vision flickers out as you fall to the ground! <laughs> This is why you shouldn't be friends with royalty. This cannot be the end, can it? You must keep fighting. In the depths of your dark dreams, you hear a muffled sound of a familiar voice calling out. Oh my word, it's crampy. Goodness me, Moss Feather, you're awake. Excellent. You were looking pretty bad when we found you. Lucky we got you when we did. But never fear, I have patched up your injuries. A little rest has done some good, hmm? I'll just need to assess you once more before I set you loose. You may have dropped some things when you passed out. I'd be more careful from now on if I were you. All right, you look fine to me. Stay safe out there, Moss Feather. Uh, I'd hate to see you in that awful state again. <gasps> I lost six, I lost everything? Everything except like a couple ladybugs? Are you kidding me? Oh no! I just got mugged! I got mugged by that spider and now I bet all of my pretty things I was gonna bring home and decorate around my den have been strung up in some sort of spider nest in the forest. A demon spider nest which I do not have time for. What? What? Ugh. Okay, I have some golden seal 
Can I at least offer that as a gift to Crampy? Crampy, thank you for saving me. You're fouling up your the air with your terrible putrid miasma. Your very presence is a pox upon the land. No wonder our kingdom is riddled with mysterious ailments. Oh, oh dear. Note to self, do not upset your local cat, like, plague doctor. When, you know, <laughs> you need to have a stable kingdom. You must be very sick indeed. As a doctor is my professional opinion, you should distance yourself from all of us and leave us alone until you get better. Golden seal? By my beak! That's an amazing specimen. Oh, thank goodness. I was able to patch things up with Crampy. <laughs> I was really worried about that for a second. Is my fur a bit greener than usual? Please do tell the truth. I've spent all morning rolling around in fresh grass clippings for precisely this purpose. My findings so far? Green coloration? Yes. Annoying pollen and nose? Yes. Invisibility? Sadly, no. Not yet. I love Crampy. Can you romance Crampy? Because that would, that would like, fulfill a part of my life. Oh, my word. All right, well. Hey, I was watching you run around earlier. What, uh, what did you do all day? Most cats get all grumpy when there's the tiniest bit of rain. I don't mind at all. I've always liked swimming, and it kind of feels like that. Plus, as an added bonus, it gets your fur all clean. This has been a bit of a day for Her Royal Majesty. Um, let's try giving this uncommon woolly winged wonder with tiny dark spots to Lainey. Lainey? You're a swell cat, Moss Feather. All right, well, that went out better than I thought. Talon? Crinky Talon? Mind your own business. That's an order. Talon, do you know how to fight giant, terrifying, like, spider monsters? I'm occupied at the moment. I thought that was obvious. Oh, dear. Uh, do you want a Sphinx Moth? Are you trying to make me mad? Okay, I'm clearly having a rough time being being Empress of the Kingdom, and I need to do a little bit more to get my people happy. I am now broke as a joke, and I have been defeated by the darkness. But we will not let this get us down. A cat has many lives, they say. Ooh, we got some Valerian, too. What does that do? A cluster of dull pink and white blooms increases your movement speed for a short while. You know what it's going to do? It's going to become decoration at my den. Thank you very freaking much. Ooh, more flowers! All right, look, statue thingy! Why didn't you help me, like, defeat the, the terrifying spider monster? I, I declare that an unfair, an unfair situation. Let's see, maybe I need to... Ooh, meadow outskirts. Maybe I need to look around over here for a little bit. Anything? Can I, like, destroy... Oh my gosh, can you find things in the grass? Like, does the grass regrow every day? Oh my gosh, look at me! <laughs> I'm like a little billy goat just able to, like, take these things apart. It'd be kind of cute if you could knock things out of trees, too. Oh, what's this? <gasps> you found a power paw! You are filled with vigor by the ancient token! Your maximum health has increased. Oh, thank goodness. All right, so there are, like, the power paws to collect. So maybe, maybe being royal, like, oh, hey, look at that. And I found a mew hiding in the grass. I guess you could just spend your day destroying grass. Also, I'm kind of getting hungry. So let's see. Oh, no. We're going to try to avoid the shadow cat thing for just a second. Because I am a weak, hungry cat who needs her food. You shouldn't fight with the monstrous demons of the unknown on an empty stomach. Oh, dear. That one has a short tail. Oh, I bet they're like a shrew's best friend because they're not going to fight with the shrew. Oh, dear. Can I Can I just... All right, let's grab this. Oh, I got a daisy. I wonder what a daisy does. Oh, man. Why are there so many shadow demons everywhere? Oh, I missed the shrew, too. All right, we're going to have to book it. I might need to eat some plants. Which is not good as, as an obligate carnivore, I will say that. Um, let's see, so we've got a few plants. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there's a squirrel. I really need some food. Oh, dang it. Alright, there's a bird. Yes! Okay, oh my gosh, I'm starving to death! <laughs> this is escalating very quickly. Alright, so there we go. We've got a little bit of food. I am busy collecting... A whole bunch of ladybugs. <gasps> oh no! No, this is not how it's gonna go down! You get out of my kingdom! 
All right, we're gonna we're gonna move it. That's right. You get out of here. You get out of here. Go on, get. Oh, we destroyed it. Yes. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to like take this back. Can I like sell this essence? I feel like this is some sort of void essence. I should be able to take back to the the like guardian of the forest and be like, hey. <laughs> This kind of sucks. What is going on? What is happening to my forest? Gosh darn it, I got too excited about trying to- Yay! Bee! Oh my gosh. Why is everything happening? Okay, we're gonna- we need treated for poison. Oh my goodness. This- the, the world is a rough and wild place. And we're gonna have to do our best to try to survive in it, friends. Cause this is, ooh, a honey hive. That's why they were attacking me. Oh yeah? Uh oh. All right, maybe I've bitten off a little more than I can chew there. <laughs> oh my goodness, all right, a little more than I can chew. I made him mad. Okay, maybe we have a little bit to learn about successfully surviving as a wild cat, but at least we have a couple power paws under our belt and we'll have to see where the rest of our adventures take us. So my friends, we did not spend nearly as much time exploring with Empress Mossfeather than I thought. We haven't even looked at all of our mail. I, I, Bob, how you doing, Bob? Oops, sorry, Bob. Well, how are you doing, uh, Mossfeather? I would enjoy a friendly chat today. How have you been doing? It's a nice place to live out here in the Wildwood. Oh my goodness. Do I have something for Bob? Good old Bob. Bob, would you like a fancy ladybug? Whoops. Dropping it on the ground. Thank you kindly. I'll take anything I can get. Oh, why is he so cute? But all right, we still have so much to dig around in just in the demo, which is just so impressive to me. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.